What's going on, everybody? RJ Ochoa here from SB Nation's blog and the boys.com. Hope all is well wherever you are. We hope you're happy, safe, healthy, and that you're excited because the 2022 NFL draft is just about here. Of course, the draft starting on Thursday, April 28th, 2022, in case you forgot what year it was. And uh, we'll be live throughout the entire thing here on the blog and the boys YouTube channel. You can also watch us on our Facebook page or on our Twitch channel. We're starting to get into that space as well. Uh, so please do subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. It'll be myself and various blog and the boys staffers all all throughout the weekend we'll of course have some uh some videos for each particular pick and, and different sort of things that happen as the weekend unfolds so so subscribe so you don't miss a single thing but uh as the draft gets ready to roll we're starting to see all of the the final mock drafts this is the time again i'm putting this together on wednesday afternoon a little bit after lunchtime and so we'll get kind of again the final 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 mock drafts from a lot of uh nfl analysts and draft analysts specifically on thursday morning but for now we do have basically the final mock drafts for a lot of nfl analysts as a whole we do this every year as the draft gets very close, as it is right now, we have rounded up all of the mock drafts, all the important ones from across the internet to kind of see who a lot of different people have the Dallas Cowboys taking. Of course, Dallas has the 24th overall pick. We'll see if they do stick there. We'll see if they move up, if they move down. It's the NFL draft, so anything can happen. Um, Dave Halpern, our founder at bloggingtheboys.com, wrote this article, so you can read it over on the site. I'm going to pull it up here for you so that we can discuss there are 10 mocks that we have analyzed and that we have assessed here um, to look at as far as seeing who different people have the Dallas Cowboys taking. And so if we look at it here, and I'll zoom in for you in just a moment, the first name is a very popular one. In fact, it was listed four different times. Kenyon Green out of Texas A&M, uh, the best school in the world, if you ask me. You can see that CBS Sports has Dallas taking Kenyon Green. Not exactly a shocking pick. Again, uh, this makes a lot of sense. Dallas obviously needs help along the interior. You could go Kenyon Green. You could go to Zion Johnson. Again, obviously, it all depends on the way the board shakes out and, and what players are available, et cetera, et cetera. We've had that conversation a bunch of times. Uh, CBS Sports actually had Kenyon Green two different times. Pete Prisco handles all their power rankings and things like that, but there are a lot of different talented writers, obviously, at multiple sites across the internet. Uh, Pro Football Talk, Mike Florio had the Cowboys taking Kenyon Green, of course, somebody who's very plugged in across the league as well. And Pro Football Focus had the Dallas Cowboys taking Kenyon Green. Those are the four who have planted their flag on Kenyon Green. And, you know, before we move on, I do think that this makes sense. I, I mean, if I have to make the pick for the Dallas Cowboys, and I've done it, you know, myself several different times, we've done mock drafts around here on Mock Draft Mondays, uh, on a recent episode of the NFC's Mixtape, one of the podcasts we do at Blog of the Boys, uh, we ran simulations, myself and Brandon Gotten for all of the NFC East teams, and I, any chance I get, take Kenyon Green. I think the dream scenario, if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, and if you're not, what are you doing here? But if you're not, hey, subscribe. Um, is that there is some combination of Kenyon Green, Zion Johnson, Traylon Burks, Chris Olave, George Carl Aftis, um, Nicobe Dean, Jahan Dotson, some combination, some sort of three to four player combination of all of those, particularly if, if you can really dream up Nirvana to have both of the guards as a part of that mix. If that is the case, then trade back, get out, pick up another top 100 pick. You'll still get somebody who you really value late in the first round. Already late, but you get my point, really really late on uh, but if you have to pick a player and Kenyon Green is there great and I think a lot of us sometimes we get in these situations where we don't want to have to make a decision right maybe you're thinking you know what I'm fine with Kenyon or Zion I hope one of them is gone so that I, I can just take the one I don't have to be the person who makes the decision sometimes we're all like that in life uh, but Kenyon Green if I have to plant my flag one place that's it let's get back uh, to assessing all of the mock drafts uh, the, the notable ones across the NFL NFL Network's Rhett Lewis uh, um, gets the party started with Tyler Linderbaum. This one is interesting, and, and this was a very popular pick. Of course, the center um, out of Iowa, uh, Tyler Linderbaum is awesome, and the Cowboys obviously have a center, which is what complicates this potential pick, uh, but he was not alone. Pro Football Focus, different author, had the Cowboys taking Tyler Linderbaum. Okay, who else? The draft wire had the Dallas Cowboys taking uh, Tyler Linderbaum. You can see Mark Schofield's work, by the way, over there. Mark does a great job for us all throughout blogging the boys in our universe, and Football Morning in America's Peter King. Uh, perhaps the most plugged in NFL insider uh, and, and most plugged in for, I don't know, 30 years at this point. Uh, Peter King does tremendous work and um, has the Cowboys taking Tyler Linderbaum. His write up, uh, T leaves pick because of Dallas's love of building the offensive line. He notes Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, because of high regard for Iowa coach Kirk Ferentz and because Linderbaum is rated consistently the best center and a top 20 overall prospect on many boards. I'm not going to read the rest of this. Um, these There are four votes for Tyler Linderbaum of the 10 mocks that we have assimilated at Blog and the Boys. And 
not that I disagree with the idea here. I think that's a fine pick. In fact, you know, the the nucleus of options I mentioned that you want to be, you know, want to see be available for the Cowboys at that point in time. I would love if that included Ty Linderbaum. But, you know, Peter King says, and let me pull it up here one more time. Um, he says, tea leaves pick. If we read the tea leaves, if we trust the Cowboys to, to behave the way that they have behaved in the past. I'm not saying if you trust the Cowboys, that's a very different uh, question, uh, very different prompt. But if we trust the Cowboys to behave the way they have, generally speaking, over the last decade, then it's not just tea leaves. It's like neon signs that you can read as it relates to their first round pick. They did not bring in Tyler Linderbaum for a 30 visit. If they really valued him, and, and again, their decision not to is up to them, but if they really valued him, or rather if they really saw him as a would-be potential option, you would have to have assumed that they would have brought him in for a 30 visit. Uh, perhaps the Cowboys don't like that he doesn't necessarily have the position flexibility that they covet in, in players, certainly first round picks. Perhaps the Cowboys are that confident in Tyler Biotish, but um, this pick feels a little bit unlikely to me, and I think that most people who cover the Cowboys would probably agree it would be a fine pick, but it just, again, there, there's there's a difference between mocking the way we would do this if we ran the team and mocking as far as understanding the way the team has generally chosen to operate for the better part of the last decade, but let's move on. So that's four votes for Tyler Linderbaum. We have only one vote for Zion Johnson. That I found very interesting. It was NFL.com's Bucky Brooks, who does a lot of work um, or has done a lot of work with the mothership over at DallasCowboys.com. Uh, just a simple, straight to the point analysis for Bucky. Fixing the offensive line will help the Cowboys offense regain its explosiveness. And I don't think any of us doubt that, right? I think that's the reason why we want Ken Young Green, why we, maybe you prefer Zion Johnson. Maybe that's what the reason you want, you want Tyler Linderbaum. We all want to see this offensive line regain some stability. We all know people in our lives, whether it be your family or your friends or your coworkers or just random people on the internet who are like the Cowboys have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL I know pro football focuses rating and ranking of them last year was generous um, but it has not been the group that it has been in the past as of late right like this offensive line has been a little bit on the decline sort of since the second half of 2018 I know they held things together and the Cowboys won the division and whatnot but um, it, it needs some rejuvenation it needs some help and that's why Kenyon Green, Zion Johnson, Tyler Linderbaum any of these options I'm totally fine with um, um, that's only nine if you've done the math, by the way, which means we have one last mock draft to get to. This one uh, from CBS Sports is Will Brinson, friend of the show. Bernard Raymond out of Central Michigan. Um, his, uh, you know, He's reading the tea leaves if you read his analysis here. It says, checks the official visit box for the Cowboys who secretly need to reload on their offensive line thanks to attrition over the last few years from what was once the league's best unit. I would say this is not exactly a secret. Again, sometimes that happens. The national perspective doesn't feel the way we feel because we see and cover this on a day-to-day -day basis um, and so I do think that the national consensus is kind of catching up to the fact that the Cowboys offensive line isn't what their reputation would have them to be as far as people perceive them or how people perceive them but um, all told that has uh, that's 10 mock drafts that we have corralled for you over at bloggingtheboys.com and the votes are four for Kenyon Green, four for Tyler Linderbaum and just one for Zion Johnson and so does this say anything does this prove anything does this you know mean anything you know, no, ultimately in the grand scheme of things, but it's interesting, right? It's interesting because all these people are, are, they cover the NFL on a national basis. So they all have people they talk to. They all understand the game. They all understand the way this thing works. And so right now, I think the heavy consensus certainly believes because you look at all of these 10 mock drafts, all four of them are on the offensive line for the Dallas Cowboys in some way, shape or form. So everybody believes that that's where the Cowboys are going. Again, not exactly a secret. And the heavy consensus is between Kenyon Green and Tyler Linderbaum. But again, Tyler Linderbaum, not a 30 visit. So if we if we do the math, if we're trying to kind of, you know, fit everything in the Venn diagram of what makes sense and, and what is logical and, and justified on behalf of the Cowboys, it would seem that Kenyon Green is going to be the pick in all likelihood. But again, anything can and probably will change. It is the NFL draft. After all, we will have you covered all draft long here on the Blog of the Boys YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. We'll be live throughout the whole thing myself and other staffers. Speaking of myself, my name is RJ Cho. You can check me out all throughout the Blog of the Boys universe. I am on Twitter and Instagram at RJ Ochoa. I am on TikTok at RJ.Ochoa. If email is more your speed, you can hit me up RJ.Ochoa at SBNation.com. It's going to be a fun couple of days. Can't wait to spend them with you. We are very, very very, very excited that the 2022 NFL Draft is finally upon us. Can't wait to see you guys Thursday night. Have a great rest of your day, and thanks for joining us here.